And the sauce for this is, you guessed it, a dried tomato sauce. And we want to do that in a food processor. So in a food processor, this is very simple, we want some of these tomatoes. I would say for a pound of pasta, you want about a cup. So I'm going to put about a cup and just eyeball that. I've got some of the basil going in there as well. And then with this, and this is just something I came up with one day when I was doing this, I like to add some capers. So there's some capers. And of course, a little red wine. Any wine, dry red wine that you like to drink would be perfect for this. So now you put the top on and you whirl until this is a paste. Folks, this is a no cook sauce. You've already done the work by preserving the tomatoes. So now take this out take that blade out, put it in the sink, and now we can take this beautiful, tasty sauce, and I don't need all of it. I need about that much. What am I going to do the rest with the rest of this? It goes into a little jar, and you put it in the refrigerator. It makes a really wonderful hostess gift. So now I'm going to toss it. And, you, and why this pasta is perfect for this is because it has all kinds of little grooves so it can pick up the sauce. And you want to take just a bit, and I mean a bit, of the cooking water after you toss this and add it to this. This will help to make the sauce a little bit smooth, but I really think it's great, just chunky like it is, but that's an old Italian trick, putting a little bit of the cooking water in with the pasta. Doesn't this look beautiful? Wait till you taste that. And then the last thing you need to use, of course, is some Parmigiano Reggiano right over the top. And let me dish that up for you because you are worthy of this. So next winter, when all your friends are eating peanut butter and jelly, you, you will be eating this wonderful plate of farfalle with tomatoes sotto olio.